Welcome to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis, where we delve into the transformative power of personal development. Today's show, Hues and Cues, The Psychology of Color and Behavior, will illustrate the fascinating ways in which color influences our daily lives. So join us as we explore the subtle yet profound impact of color psychology from the clothes we wear to the brands we love. So stay tuned as we uncover the hues that shape our cues, the psychology of color. Color psychology is a field of study that examines how color influences our perceptions and behaviors. It's based on the idea that colors can evoke certain emotions and affect our mood, often in ways that we might not consciously realize. We ex examine warm colors like red and yellow are often associated with feelings of warmth and excitement, while cool colors like blue and green tend to be linked to calmness and relaxation. There is an assessment tool based on colors. There's also a company that uses colors as its way of applying makeup, of telling people how to dress, what colors look best on them. So this is some of the things that we want to delve into. The historical context of color perception is rich and varied. Different cultures have assigned different meanings and significant to colors throughout history. In some cultures, white is the color of purity and peace, while in others, it may represent mourning. Red can signify luck and prosperity in some Eastern cultures, whereas it might be associated with danger and passion in Western societies. Cultural differences also play a significant role in how colors are perceived and interpreted. These differences can influence everything from fashion choices to brand identity and understanding them is crucial for anyone looking to communicate effectively across diverse audiences by exploring the basics of color psychology and acknowledging the historical and cultural context, we can better understand how to harness the power of color in our daily lives and personal success strategies, colors and emotions, driving deeper into the associations between specific colors and emotions. We find that certain hues have been consistently linked to particular feelings. For instance, red is often associated with energy, excitement, and passion. It can also stimulate appetite, which is why it's frequently used in restaurant branding. Blue is linked to feelings of serenity and trustworthiness. It's a preferred color for corporate bands, aiming to establish a sense of reliability and professionalism. Yellow, the color of sunshine, is associated with happiness, optimism, and youthfulness. However, it can also be overwhelming if overused. Green is connected to nature, health, and tranquility. It's often used to promote eco friendly products or to create a calming environment. Purple is traditionally associated with royalty, 
luxury and sometimes spirituality. It can evoke feelings of creativity and imagination. Expert opinions and studies in the field of color psychology support these associations. Research published in the journal Emotion by psychologist Andrew Elliott and Height Arts suggests that seeing the color red can increase the speed and strength of reactions as it is often seen as a cue for danger. Another study by researchers or the University of Rochester found that blue can boost creativity and can have a calming effect, which aligns with its use in promoting productivity and tranquility. These studies and expert insights help us understand the powerful role that color plays in our emotional and behavioral responses, and they provide a scientific basis for associations that color psychology proposes. Color in marketing and branding. Businesses have long understood the power of color psychology and have used it strategically to influence consumer behavior. The colors that a brand chooses for its logo, packaging, and overall design can have a significant impact on how it is perceived by consumers. So here are some ways that businesses leverage color psychology. Brand identity. Colors help in creating a casual identity for brands. The iconic red of Coca-Cola is not just memorable, it is also evokes excitement and boldness, aligning with the brand's image. Coca-Cola has been around for more than a hundred years. And here's the thing, it has only grown in popularity. Product packaging, the colors used in product packaging can affect consumers' purchase decisions. Bright colors attract attention on shelves while subdued homes may convey a sense of luxury and quality. Marketing campaigns, colors and advertisements can create a mood or feeling that aligns with the message of the campaign, influencing the emotional response of the audience. So let's look at some successful brand color schemes. Apple, the use of the white and minimalist design conveys simplicity, innovation, and elegance, aligning with the brand's focus on cutting edge technology and user friendly products. Starbucks, the green and Starbucks branding is not just reminiscent of coffee beans, but also evokes a sense of relaxation and community, which is part of the experience that the brand aims to offer in its stores. McDonald's, the red and yellow color scheme is designed to be eye-catching and stimulating, which can increase appetite and draw in customers. Now, remember when they originally got started and, and they expanded in the 20th century, what did you have? The yellow arches as their brand. The psychology behind these color schemes is rooted in the desire to evoke specific emotions and associations that align with the brand's values and the message they want to convey to their audience by understanding 
and applying color psychology. Businesses can create a more compelling and effective brand presence, the impact of color in everyday life. Color choices in our personal environments, such as home, decor, play a significant role in influencing our daily mood and productivity. The colors that we surround ourselves with can either energize us or provide a calming effect. Incorporating elements of green can create a sense of balance and promote relaxation, which might be beneficial in a home office where concentration is key. On the other hand, using vibrant colors like orange in a workout room can provide an energetic boost. In the realm of the art of design, color is a powerful tool for influencing audience perception. Artists and designers use color to convey messages, evoke emotions, and create depth and movement within their work. The use of color can also direct the viewer's attention and shape their experience of the artwork of design and peace. But a mon a monochronist uh, well a monochromatic color scheme can create a cohesive and sophisticated look, while a com complementary color scheme can highlight important features and create visual interest. The psychological impact of color in our personal and professional spaces is profound by understanding the effects of direct use, we can make and inform decisions about the colors we choose to incorporate into our lives, whether it's through the design of our living spaces, the branding of a business, or the creation of a piece of art. Some practical applications of color psychology Understanding and applying color psychology can be adventurous in various settings. So here are some tips on how to use color psychology to your benefit. Workplace environment. Choose colors for your workplace that are conducive to the type of work you do. If your job requires focus, and mental clarity, consider blue tones the, that promote productivity and reduce stress. For creative work, yellow can stimulate creativity and optimism. Presentations, use colors strategically in your presentations to keep your audience engaged. Red can be used to draw attention to important points, but use it sparingly to avoid overwhelming your audience. Green is an easy on the eyes and can be used to create a sense of balance and calm during the presentation. Dress for success. The colors that we wear can influence both our own confidence, and how others perceive us. Wearing blue to an interview can convey trust and reliability, while black can communicate sophistication and leadership. Marketing materials. If you're creating a marketing package, use colors that align with the emotional response you want to elicit with your target audience. If you want to create a sense of urgency for the sale 
Greg can be an effective color. For health and wellness brands, green can reinforce the message of growth and vitality. Digital interfaces for websites and apps. Choose a color scheme that enhances usability and readability. Blue is often used to, for a call to action buttons as it's associated with trustworthiness. Contrast it also as important. Ensure that there is sufficient contrast between text and background colors to ensure readability. Remember, while color psychology provides general guidelines, cultural differences and personal preferences can also play a role in how colors are perceived. It's important to consider the context and audience when applying these principles. Listener engagement, becoming more aware of the influences of color in our lives can lead to more intentional and beneficial choices, both personally and professionally. I encourage you, our listeners, to observe the colors around you and notice how they affect your mood, behavior, and decisions. Reflect on the colors you choose in your daily life, from the clothes you wear to the color of your phone case, and consider the messages you are sending with these choices. I would love to hear your stories and experiences with color psychology. Share how specific colors have impacted your life, influenced your behavior, or even changed the outcome of a situation. Join the conversation on social media and use the hashtag Color Minds to connect with others and share your insights. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn from each other and expand our understanding of the fascinating topic of color. Remember, the world is a kaleidoscope of colors, each with its own psychological impact. By becoming more mindful of these influences, we can harness the power of color to enhance our lives in meaningful ways. I would like to thank you for tuning in to Hughes and Cues, the psychology of color and behavior. So until next time, live vibrantly and without limits. To summarize the key points we've discussed in today's episode of Hughes and Cues, the psychology of color and behavior, we introduced the concept of color psychology and how colors can significantly influence our mood and behavior. We explored the basics of color psychology, including the historical context and cultural differences in color perception. We delved into the emotional associations of specific colors, referencing studies and expert opinions that support these connections. We examined how businesses leverage color psychology to sway consumer behavior and look for examples of successful brand color schemes. We discussed the impact of color choices in our personal environments, such as home decor, or our daily mood and productivity, as well as at the influence of color in art and design on audience perception. We provided practical tips on how to use color psychology to one's advantage in the workplace 
and during presentations. We encouraged listeners to become more conscious of colors and their role in our lives and to share that your color psychology stories on social media with the hashtag color minds. I would like to thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Your presence and engagement make this journey into a psychology of color and the more enriching. Be sure to join us for the next episode where we'll dive into the fascinating world of scent marketing and how olfactory cues can shape consumer experiences and brand identity. So until then, keep observing the colors around you and the subtle ways that they influence your world.